Rusty reporting in from Fundy National Park, and today I've got a beautiful moth here. This is called a chocolate prominent moth, and he's called chocolate because of his beautiful brown color. Now, this is actually a very interesting thing, so I've been trying to get a video of this for a long while, but before moths are able to take off, they need to do what this chocolate prominent is doing right now. He's vibrating his wings and his body to build up enough energy to be able to take off in flight. So because moths are nocturnal, they don't have the solar energy or the heat from the sun. So when they wake up in the morning, they need to vi vibrate their wings like this um, for quite a while actually before they're able to take off. So that's exactly what this chocolate prominent is doing right now. He's building up enough solar energy, enough heat, enough friction in his wings to be able to flap them fast enough to take off. So he's been doing this now for a couple minutes, so I'm kind of hoping that he'll be able to take off here shortly. But just a beautiful moth. There he's in the sun, so you can see that beautiful brown color. Uh, prominent moths are very neat. Uh, they are one of the widest known species of moths. There's roughly 3,800, so that's 3,800 different species of moths. Oh, there he goes. Uh, so the prominent family is very widespread, mostly in the New World. Um, so mostly in, in the Americas, but they tend to hang out in the tropics quite a bit. So I'll just take a little walk over here and we'll take a look at this guy here. Um, another prominent moth. So yeah, basically, I'm really glad that we were able to uh, watch that moth kind of vibrate before he was able to take off. So that was the chocolate prominent and uh, happy second day of National Moth Week. And we will see you next time. Rusty out.